Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is third class based on variable separable method. You observe this is the given differential equation. In examination, they'll ask the question like this. Solve this differential equation or they may ask like this also. Find the general solution of this differential equation. I am going to solve this differential equation by variable separable method. In variable separable method, you need to remember three steps. What is that first step? In first step, x variables dx, y variables dy will be separated. So you see how I will separate here. I will write all x terms dx at one side and all y terms dy at one side. So before that, I will take this term to the right hand side like this. Then what you will get here? e power x plus e power minus x into dy equal to when we take this to the right hand side this minus will become plus e power x minus e power minus x into dx my main intention is i want to write all x terms and dx at one side all y terms and dy at one side you can observe this is x term so i'll take this to this side what will be remaining here this side you will get dy equal to this side what you will get e power x minus e power minus x divided by you take this part to this side then what you will get e power x plus e power minus x into dx you always remember this dx dy we want in the form of into dx only don't write them as 1 by dx 1 by dy you want it as into dx into dy now you observe here all x terms dx at one side all y terms dy at one side however y is not there here but dy is at one side what happened x variable dx y variable dy is separated that means step one is completed in step two we integrate on both sides you integrate this on both sides integral of dy dy means 1 into dy is dy only na? so I'll write like this 1 into dy equal to integral of I'm just integrating this on both sides minus x divided by e power x plus e power minus x into dx integral of 1 dy in integration chapter we know this formula integral of k dx here k is constant integral of k dx is kx plus c integral of 1 dy is here with respect to y Integral of 1 dy is 1 into y plus c. 1 into y is nothing but y only. Plus c, we, we, we need to write plus c whenever we integrate. You observe here, third step. We write plus c on any one side. In previous classes also we discussed why we write plus c on any one side. If I write plus c here and if I write plus c here, there is a chance that you will confuse and you will cancel both plus c. That's why we will write plus c at any one side. Okay, you observe here. We know this formula in integration, integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx. f dash of x means derivative of f of x. Integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx is log mod f of x plus c. This we learn integration by substitution method. Okay. So here, what is the derivative of this denominator part? I'll calculate here. Derivative of e power x, I'm calculating derivative of this e power x plus e power minus x derivative of e power x we know that derivative of e power x is e power x only plus derivative of e power minus x here you imagine this minus x as x chain rule differentiation i'm applying here if you imagine minus x as x it looks like e power x derivative of e power x is e power x only which one you imagined as x you need to differentiate it that means d by dx of minus x d by dx of minus x is minus 1 if we simplify this what you will get e power x plus of minus is minus e power minus x. So derivative of e power x plus e power minus x is e power x minus e power minus x. You must know the differentiation to understand this. Okay. However, you see here what you identified derivative of this denominator is there in the numerator. So this integral is of this form integral of f dash of x by f of x dx. When the integral is of this form, we can write its answer directly. What is its answer? Its answer is log mod f of x plus c. Log mod. Here f of x means denominator. What is denominator here? Denominator is e power x plus e power minus x plus c. This is the solution of given differential equation. However, if you try for the test book answer, there is a chance you will confuse especially while solving differential equations. What happens? Person to person, the answer will vary. 
Suppose here I written plus C. If the other person who is solving this, if they write plus C in the left hand side, it looks different. But actually they gives the same meaning. In place of C, we can write log C also. Because C is an integral constant, it is arbitrary constant. Log C is also arbitrary constant. What I am trying to say, if you want to simplify this further, you can. If you try to get the test book answer, you may get the test book answer or you may confuse easily. To avoid the confusion, you stop this here because we already did the solution. This is the general solution of given differential equation. Now we will try to understand this with one more example. You observe they given a differential equation here. In examination, they'll ask like this, solve this differential equation or they may ask like this also find the general solution of this differential equation. I'm going to solve this by variable separable method. In variable separable method, you need to remember three steps. First one, x variable dx, y variable dy will be separated like this. e power x into tan y into dx equal to, you take this term to the right hand side. Then what you will get minus of one minus e power x into secant square y into dy okay my main intention is i want to write all x terms dx at one side all y terms dy at one side okay so here little bit of simplification i'll do further e power x into tan y into dx equal to here i'll multiply this whole expression with minus then this will become e power x minus one okay see here minus of minus plus e power x minus 1 into secant square y into dy. Okay, what I'll do, I'll take uh, this e power x minus 1 to this side and I'll take tan y to this side. Why we are doing like this? Because I want all x terms dx at one side and all y terms dy at another side. So you take this e power x minus 1 to this side, then what you will get e power x divided by e power x minus 1 into dx equal to here uh, you take this tan y to this side, then what you will get secant square y divided by tan y into dy. Okay, right. So you can observe here all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side. That means we completed the first step. x variable dx, y variable dy is separated. Once this separation is over, then we'll integrate on both sides. Okay, you start integrating this on both sides. Integral of e power x divided by e power x minus 1 into dx equal to, I am just integrating this on both sides. Integral of secant square y divided by tan y into dy. Okay. So we need to integrate this. We know this formula, we are using this formula very frequently. Integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx. If numerator is the derivative of denominator, then we can write its answer directly. What is its answer? Log mod f of x plus c. You observe here, what is derivative of e power x minus 1? What is derivative of e power x minus 1? Derivative of e power x is e power x minus derivative of 1 is 0. So, derivative of e power x minus 1 is e power x minus 0, which is nothing but e power x only. That means numerator is the derivative of denominator. That means this integral is of this form. When the given integral is of this form, we can write its answer directly. What is its answer? Its answer is log mod f of x. Here f of x is e power x minus 1. As we know that we will write plus c on any one side. To avoid the confusion, I will write plus c on right hand side only. That's why I didn't written plus c here. Okay. Now you see, what is the derivative of tan y? In differentiation chapter, we know this formula. Derivative of tan x. Derivative of tan x is what? Secant square x. Here, derivative of tan y with respect to y is secant square y. Okay, so here what happened here? Numerator is the derivative of denominator. Here also, this integral is of this form only. When this integral is of this form, then we can write its answer directly. What is its answer? Log mod tan y plus c. Here, I want to stop the solution here. If you want to try for test book answer, you can try. But there is a chance that you will confuse. To avoid the confusion, you just stop here. This is the general solution of a given differential equation. Now, we'll try to understand this with one more example. This is the differential equation. They'll ask this question like this. 
solve this differential equation or they may ask find the general solution of the differential equation. I am going to solve this differential equation by using variable separable method. In variable separable method you need to remember these three steps. What is first step? x variable dx, y variable dy will be separated. Here you see I will write all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side like this. We always need into dx into dy. So what I will do here, I will take dx to this side. See what happens, x power y into dy equal to minus y power 5 into dx. As I need all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side, I will take x power 5 to this right hand side and y power 5 to this left hand side. Then what you will get? You will get like this, 1 divided by y power 5. I taken this y power 5 to this side. 1 divided by y power 5 into dy equal to, you take x power 5 to this side, minus is there here, minus 1 divided by x power 5 into dx. You can observe here all x terms dx at one side, all y terms dy at one side. That means x variable dx, y variable dy is separated. Once we did this first step, now we will go to the second step. What is second step? We will integrate on both sides. You integrate this on both sides. Integral of 1 divided by y power 5 into dy equal to here while integrating minus is constant, you can write that minus outside the integral. Integral of 1 divided by x power 5 into dx. I just, I am just integrating this on both sides. Now we need to integrate this. In integration, integral of 1 by x power n dx. Here n is not equal to 1. You please remember that. In this formula, n is not equal to 1. If n equal to 1, answer is different. Okay. So we learn this in integration formulas. What is this? Minus 1 divided by n minus 1 into x power n minus 1 plus c. Actually, this comes from integral of x power n dx only. So, if you know this formula, you can write this answer very easily. Okay, integral of 1 by x power n dx formula is what? Minus 1 divided by n minus 1 into x power n minus 1 plus c. Here, integral of 1 divided by y power 5 dy. So, integral of 1 divided by y power 5 dy. You observe, in place of n, 5 is there. What will be its answer? minus 1 divided by n means 5. 5 minus 1 is what? 4 into y power 5 minus 1 is 4 plus c. So, integral of 1 divided by y power 5 dy is what? It is minus 1 divided by 4 into y power 4. As you know that we will write plus c on any one side. To avoid the confusion, I will write plus c always on right hand side. Here minus is there. That minus I will write as it is. You see integral of 1 divided by x power 5 dx, I use the same formula, integral of 1 divided by x power 5 dx, see, I will apply this formula only, in place of n, 5 is there, what is the answer, minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1, that is 4, 4 into x power 5 minus 1, that is 4 plus c. So, integral of 1 divided by x power 5 dx is what, that is, minus 1 divided by 4 into x power 4 plus c. You observe here, this minus, this minus will get cancelled. Okay, then I am doing little bit of simplification. Actually, you can stop this here. This is the solution of given differential equation. What is remaining here? 1 divided by 4 into y power 4. Here minus is there now, you take to left hand side, it will become plus. 1 divided by 4 into x power 4 equal to c. You observe here 1 by 4 is there in this term and in this term also. So you take that common then what you will get 1 divided by y power 4 plus 1 divided by x power 4 equal to as you taken that 4 common take it to the right hand side it will become 4c. Actually you can stop the solution here itself. Here little bit of simplification is possible that's why I did like this. So, this is the required general solution of the given differential equation. We solved this differential equation by variable separable method. I hope you understand this class.